Okay, here is number uh, seven on the 9.4 web assignment. Homework on comparisons of series. Uh, these are going to focus on limit comparison. Uh, so if you take the limit of this series and a comparable series and the limit turns out to be a finite limit that's greater, that's positive, uh, the series will have the same um, result based off convergence or divergence. So for this one, one over the root, they start you off with a, they start you off with a pretty good one. Um, I'm going to compare this to one over the root of n squared. In other words, one over n. So the root of n, at the one over the root of n squared would be one over the absolute value of n, but n, on these series, n is positive, so you can eliminate the absolute values. So the reason why I'm going to go one over the root of n squared, uh, if you take the limit here of this, and a lot of this, as you get used to it, is going to be easily done in your head, almost. So with our study of limits, as n goes to infinity, this is like a degree one over degree one. Uh, so it's the ratio of the leading coefficients root one over root one. So this limit is one, which means it's a finite limit. And uh, this series has the same convergence or divergence result of this. So since one over n diverges, then this diverges and we compared it to our P-series 1 over N. So these, hopefully, are going to be pretty easy. This one, uh, if you multiply it out, it's going to be N to the fourth plus 6 N, N squared. So we're going to compare it to 1 over N to the fourth. And as you know, with limits, if we take the limit of the ratio of these, And you don't have to do this every time because it's going to be obvious. So this is the limit as n goes to infinity. We know that's going to be 1 because we made it. We're looking for a limit that exists so we can make a conclusion. Uh, since this limit exists and it's greater than 0, we can conclude that both these series do the same thing. As far as conversion or diverge, and since 1 over n to the 4th is a convergent P-series, then this converges by limit comparison to 1 over n to the 4th. Pretty simple. So this one is interesting. Um, what I'm going to do with this one is, and it's going to be, again, this is going to be very simple. Think of that n to be the square root of n squared. So since it is the square root of n squared, if you multiply it through, this would be the square root of n to the sixth plus 6n six squared. So once I change this to the square root of n squared, I can multiply what's in the square roots. So now I'm going to compare this to the series 1 over the square root of n to the 6th. So it does have a limit. In other words, 1 over n to the 3rd. And now when I take the ratio of these, I'm not going to keep doing that. Um, I'll just show you the results. When I take the ratio of those two series, I'll get something that looks like this. Their quote unquote degrees are the same. This limit will be the square root of one over the square root of one. So it does exist. It's finite. It's positive. So these series have the same result. So by limit comparison to one over n to the third, which converges, this series converges. All right, next question.
All right, so this one says you can pick and choose which. Um, which is the best? I, I guess what we would look for here is let's pick the best one to use and which is the easiest one. And the easiest one to use here is everything we've been doing. Compare it to one over n cubed, very simple. Uh, when you take the limit of this over this as n goes to an infinity, you're going to get one. So this is a convergent P series. This converges by com by the limit comparison test. Now you can argue, I could use the direct comparison test and you're, you would argue correctly, yes. Uh, could you use the integral test? Yes. Uh, but why would you want to do that? This was easy. So I think the better question is, don't identify the test you use, identify the easiest test. And I don't think there's any uh, doubt it's limit comparison. Okay, this one. Well, this one, you just with experience, this is a telescoping. So when you start plugging in numbers, you're going to get the one would be one over six minus one over seven, and then plus one over seven minus one over eight, and so on and so on and so on you know this converges to one six. So telescoping is, is a good way to go here. And it does converge because we get a sum. Now something that, that's it, we're done. Um, now what if you didn't realize it was telescoping or you forgot? So you could add these together, n plus six by getting a common denominator, minus um, n plus five, over n squared. I'm going to multiply out. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to do it. n squared plus 11n plus 30. Now you would get here, what would you get? I think you get 1 over n squared plus 11n plus 30. Well, if you, you can compare that to 1 over n squared, which is convergent, and you know that this converges immediately. Um, Telescoping series test was probably easiest, but you should understand that a lot of these other tests will also work. So that was number 11. We have a, I was going to stop the video, but we only have a couple more. I'm on a roll, so let's go. Uh, obvious. Limit comparison to 1 over n squared, this converges. So that's... Um, Simple. Where's my limit comparison? There it is. Um, one other interesting thing, just like the last problem. If you do a partial fraction decomposition, this may change into a telescoping series, and you could do it that way. However, you wouldn't want to. But... If it said, what's the sum of this series? The only way to come up with an actual sum would be to use partial fraction decomposition to make it a telescoping series and then see if you can come up with a sum. So that's just a little extra piece of information on this one. Uh, Use the limit comparison test to determine the convergence. This is too easy. So, um, well, let's just think about this. I shouldn't. I shouldn't judge so quickly. Um, the only way to get this to be, if we're taking the limit as n goes to infinity, the only way to get this to work out to be a limit is if the top is going to be n cubed. So I should multiply this or divide it by one over n squared. That would make the top n cubed plus 6n squared. So this is going to produce a limit of 1, which means this original series does the same thing as 1 over n squared, which is like convergent p-series. So it converges with a limit comparison of 1 over n squared. And that is all. Thank you very much. It was fun.